Brady's putting us on some awesome fish here. Look at how colorful this brown trout is. The prettiest brown trout I've ever caught in my life. Also my personal best brown. We are packing up the hotel room. We're gonna make a little stop through Bass Pro so I can buy a new spinning rod. Because, as you guys saw in the last video, I snapped mine in half on a gar. <laughs> and Alex dumped his GoPro in the water. <laughs> so, who's the winner here? Neither. We're both losers. See some cool fish, they're cool setup. Buildings are always sweet. Oh, boy. oh, you can eat popcorn shrimp, Bass Pro Shop, sitting in front of this beautiful tank. We are currently en route. We got about two hours to get to Cherokee Trails Campground, which is where we're staying the night. Uh, we're gonna be fishing the South Holston with Brady Carter. We're gonna be floating in a drift boat for Browns. So, super excited to do that. Never done anything like that before. Have you been in a drift boat? I've been in a drift boat once, but never on a river. We just pulled up to the South Holston River Fly Shop. I'm gonna check it out, see what they got inside. Should be a pretty cool little place. We don't know. They just turned the water up 1,000, 1,200. Uh, CFA. Sulfurs? Yep. So, that's our logo. That's primarily, that's the, the main bug on this river. Variation of it, Puff Daddy, real light fly. Mm -hmm. And then um, the aquatic stages of the, of the sulfur. All right. Split cases, um, silver so, beaded. Geeking, I'm geeking out guys. Trout fishing is probably my favorite kind of fishing. Don't tell the bass people that. There's just something about them. They're just the stocking of the fish and then oh, the bodies of them. Mm, it's They're just, just very personal. It, every, it's just every experience. It's like hunting, but fishing. Whereas bass, it's like, you know there should be some bass here and there's a lot more of them. But trout is just way more specific. You gotta match the hatch perfectly. I mean, I've fished to the same trout for an hour and a half and caught it just after I made a tiny little change in my fly. So it's just something about them. And the play, the locations that trout are in are always more beautiful than the locations bass are in. And I think that's the biggest, the biggest thing is just the location. Cause I mean, look at, even right now we're not at the river, but this is just a beautiful little drive. We're in somewhere right outside of Bristol, Tennessee. We're gonna be fishing the South Holston and it is just gorgeous out here. <laughs> There's no hook on there. I just don't want you to hit anything. Oh, right I just on put it side. right on my shoulder. Laid it down. Just woke up uh, about 10 minutes ago to pouring rain. 
it stopped for just a second here but you can see clouds are moving in again so we're probably gonna get rain on here soon but it's gonna be a rainy day overall so we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna get around filming and fishing in the rain we'll go from there we'll see how much we can get filmed and how many fish we can get on camera Alex. Alex, good to meet you, man. You Brady too. Carter. Originally, I grew up in Bristol, born and raised in Bristol, Tennessee. Growing up, I, I learned to fly fish when I was 13. I started coming out here on the South Pole side. I didn't realize. I just thought you fly fish in rivers and then you took your you know traditional spinning ride to the, to the lake. Just the fact that like every mile that we're on the river today, we're floating over 10,000 fish. I'm just like... Crazy. That is mind blowing. <laughs> Our approach this morning, we'll be doing a bottom bouncing rig more primarily. I don't know with your setup if you're wanting to do dries, kind of dedicate that one to dry rod. That's um, fine. But with our bottom bouncing rig at this flow, we'll do like a one inch indicator, come down about eight feet or so. Might adjust that a little bit and then we're going to put on a lot of weight. guys we are out here on the South Holston River we are out with Brady from South Holston River Company and this is the first brown trout of the trip look at how beautiful these fish are we're gonna get the release on this guy yeah got him marked up in the app we're gonna get a few more fish there he goes awesome good fish appreciate it yeah good stuff Woo. all right feels good Trout out of the South Holster River. Beautiful looking fish. And this was caught on the hopper dropper rig on the nymph below the hopper. This is too cool. Making it happen. Yep, there you go. Let him go if he needs to go. Yep. Good way to be
<laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was a subtle take. Yeah, that it was. was. That was awesome. I saw that nose come up and yep. I was like, ah, looks like it. Hello, good. Oh, nice. Hold on. 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 Alright, let's get him back in. Get another. See you, buddy. <sighs> Crazy, man. Dry fly, dry fly fishing is just like a whole other game. Because there's so much timing of the fish rising and presenting it perfectly and getting the right drift. Just everything has to come together. And it did. And I was like, I haven't seen a fish come up in that spot for a moment. <laughs> I was just about to say it. I was like, I wonder if they could just calm down and say There's another one right there. <laughs> Woo! This one's angry. <laughs> this is an angry fish. Why are you so angry fish? Yeah. I know I got six eggs, so I'm like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to bust a move here. I'm gonna take my sweet time. Smart man. Smart man for it. You can see this fish right in the corner of its mouth, that sulfur. That was the second one. You can see our, the first sulfur's right up there. Dry fly fishing here in South Holston. Should be pretty easy to get out. And then we'll get this fish right back in. Wow, they have some sharp teeth. Just like that. There goes that. Beautiful fish. Off he goes. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> Yahoo! That was crazy. <laughs> How you like we're doing a Orvis rod? Yeah, so I've been an Orvis guy for a while. <laughs> Dude, you're uh, you're the first person I've had that's really put a workout on that thing. It's feeling good. I love it. You gotta be careful. Brady's putting us on some awesome fish here. Look at how colorful this brown trout is. Prettiest brown trout I've ever caught in my life. Also my personal best brown. Alrighty. Let's get this let's get this big boy back in the water. That is so awesome. <laughs> I didn't need to do a job that um, wasn't making me happy, that I needed to do something that made me happy. And uh, and, you know that was something that we shared and something I loved and we always dreamed about doing going up to Alaska and um, starting a guide company up there and uh, you know I, I decided to come back home and dig into roots and uh, pour into family and, and be here in this beautiful country of Northeast Tennessee so it's been good That's fun. such an epic day on the water it was the first four hours one fish and that was it um, and then we did a second pass of the same stretch uh, the hatch opened up just right Sun came out for a little bit warm the water up we had a sulfur hatch and we ended up smashing them on some sulfur dry flies so it ended up being a super awesome day um, you guys know that I geek out over trout fishing so anytime I can get my hands on 
over 10 trout in just a few hours is just a perfect day. So you guys should have seen some pretty amazing footage from this day. And we're gonna go catch some food now, not fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fill up our tummies, get some sleep in the tent. And then tomorrow is a travel day, but we're probably gonna do some fishing too. Maybe try and get Alex on his first trout on the fly. Yee so see if we can make that happen and uh yeah next update should be tomorrow so thanks for watching guys let's go get some decent dinner but it's almost gone so we might as well eat it